Remember when OJ Simpson had his own hidden prank show? You've been juiced. <laughs> this is a TV show. You have been juiced. Look into the camera. Let's go back. Tamagotchi the of Y2K. The year is 1973 and Buffalo Bills running back OJ Simpson rushes for 261 yards, at the time a single game record in the NFL. He establishes himself as one of the greatest football players in the league, where he's nicknamed Juice. Let's move further up the timeline to June 12, 1994. Outside her home in Los Angeles, Nicole Brown, OJ Simpson's ex-wife, is murdered alongside her friend Ronald Goldman. On June 17th, an arrest warrant for OJ Simpson is issued after linking his DNA to the scene of the crime. At 6.45 p.m. the same day, OJ is spotted by the police in a white Bronco driving down the highway and begin pursuit. The vehicle is being driven by OJ's best friend, Al Crowlings. In the back is OJ with a gun, $9,000 in cash, his passport, a bottle of makeup adhesive, a fake mustache, and they're not stopping. 95 million people watch as OJ lead the police on a 60-mile, two-hour chase. Domino's Pizza reported that they sold a record amount of pizza during this window because people didn't want to step away from their television. The pursuit came to an end with OJ collapsing into the arms of a police officer. OJ Simpson is tried for 11 months in what is dubbed the trial of the century, and on October 3, 1995, a shocking verdict of not guilty rocks America. To this day, the majority of Americans believe he still did it. In fact, OJ came out with a book called If I Did It, where he puts together a hypothetical description of the night Nicole Brown and Ronald Goldman were murdered. Nothing suspicious about that at all. Fast forward one more time to the year 2006. It's time for an O.J. Simpson comeback. What should he do? Maybe start a podcast? How about some sports commentary? You know what is really big right now? That hidden camera prank show hosted by Michael Kelso called Punked. We need to do that, but with O.J. Simpson. That'll get the public back on his side. This is where Rick Marr and Extreme Entertainment Group come into play. Known for bum fights and backyard wrestling, they play on the crown jewel of trash television. A 60-minute pay-per-view event called Juiced, where O.J. Simpson will prank the public and then shout, You've been juiced! Which honestly sounds like something he might shout after stabbing you. You're probably wondering who in their right mind would watch this. Well, luckily I'm not in my right mind, and I watched it and I've never felt dirtier. Afterwards, I sat in my shower, scalding water on my body as I rocked back and forth in the fetal position. Also, everyone viewing this didn't have to watch the whole show. You're welcome. Without further ado, this is Juiced. The show opens with OJ Simpson dressed as a pimp and performing a rap because how else would you start it? I can't show a lot of the rap video because it features topless women. In fact, in between pranks there are montages of nude women dancing around for no apparent reason. Clips of OJ on a throne as the women less than half his age grind on him. It feels like watching your grandpa at the strip club. The first prank of the show is called McJuice, in which OJ works at a fast food drive through window. In it, he berates overweight customers for even coming to a fast food restaurant, takes a sip from their drinks, and bites out of their food. He also gets into a fight with this guy who is his sidekick on the show. His name is Harmon Leon, and he was hired off Craigslist for the show. Leon talks about this in an article he wrote called I Was O.J. Simpson's Accomplice for Vice. I wanted to mention this now because I'm going to be referencing his experiences while filming the show throughout my video to get a bit of context on what was happening behind the scenes. Back to the first prank, OJ at one point takes cheese, rubs it on his apron, and then serves it to a customer without their knowledge. And when his co-worker messes up an order, he says this. I think he's a retard. The lackluster effort by OJ ends with him pointing to the cameras and saying, You've been juiced. My favorite part of this whole thing is when people don't recognize him and he tells them he's an actor and starts naming the films he's been in. Yeah, that's how everyone knows you. That's like saying Mia Khalifa is mostly recognized for her clothing brand. After this bit ends and we see another topless woman montage, we see OJ selling oranges on the side of the road while dressed in tattered clothing. Get it? OJ selling oranges like his nickname suggests? And you thought you wouldn't be seeing any quality storytelling in this show. This is something that reoccurs throughout the entire one hour show. I can only assume they filmed a bunch of pranks and many of them bombed. Well, I guess that would be saying that some of them landed. But they do this setup for a prank and then show about 20 seconds of footage from it. There's one where he dresses up as Elvis in Las Vegas, but it's just him walking down the street for 30 seconds and then it ends. Another is him dressed as an old man and hosting a bingo night. OJ drops one of the bingo balls and then it just ends. 
They probably didn't get the reactions they hoped out of people and they just sort of threw it in there because they had the footage on hand. The next full length sketch is called Scandalous and it was the point when I wasn't sure if I was going to even continue making this video because I just wanted it to stop. So I did. I put it down and I didn't come back to it until a few days later. Each of these pranks are set up by OJ Simpson himself in an interview style shot where he explains the prank and why it's so funny. So here's the setup for this one. This guy thinks he's on a show where he's going to catch his wife cheating on him. By the way, this has to be actors. In no way would anyone ever agree to prank their husband this way. Anyway, the joke is she's cheating on him with OJ Simpson and then hijinks ensue. The alleged wife really didn't think that would be the first time I used the word alleged in a video about OJ Simpson, but here we are. Anyway, the alleged wife is doing this terrible crying from inside the bathroom that nearly burst my eardrums. Let's power through three pranks quickly, shall we? Don't touch my balls is a prank that OJ doesn't really do anything. He's playing golf with some people and then Leon runs onto the green and steals their balls. In his Vice article, Leon said that OJ took too long telling them that it was a prank and he had to run away from the golfers. And after they told him that they just got juice, they still weren't pleased with him stealing their balls. In King's Pizza, OJ poses as a pizza delivery driver who messes up someone's order. Comedy gold. The guy they prank though is visibly drunk and you just feel bad for him when OJ won't give him his money back. In Roommate Wanted, the setup is that they put out an ad looking for a roommate, and surprise, the person looking for a roommate is OJ Simpson. But this bombs when the woman who shows up's from Hungary and has no idea who OJ is. Alright, on to the final three pranks, and I saved them for last because they're all insane for different reasons. The first one is called Open House. The setup is there's an open house, and one of the people looking at the house will be OJ. Leon will be playing the homeowner, and after a vase is broken, he will come in and shout at people and blame it on them. They do this to a couple people and there's also a topless woman on a trampoline in the backyard because why not? The funny thing about this prank though is that Leon said that he did a bit where he would confuse OJ with Danny Glover and kept calling him Danny. OJ seemingly forgot this was a prank show that he was in on and genuinely got angry with him calling him Danny Glover. I'm not an actor, I'm not Danny Glover. Oh, and at one point Leon comes in as a different character and throws up all over the floor. It's like they had three different ideas for a bit and crammed them all into one. The second to last prank is called, I can't believe these words are about to come out of my mouth, but it's called, Pimp Juice. In this prank, they put out an ad looking for backup singers for a new rapper. The women show up and the funny part is that they find out that their new rapper is actually OJ Simpson, who's gonna try out his new rap career. Again, this is a situation where half of them don't even seem to know who he is. Then he starts hitting on this girl and inviting her backstage to a Britney Spears concert. By the way, throughout the entire show, OJ's hitting on many women throughout these pranks. In the Vice article, Leon talks about them filming a prank inside a tropical fish store where OJ began to hit on a minor. After explaining she was only 17, OJ said, If you were 18, I'd try and go out with you. Again, allegedly. A couple things about this prank. The first thing we have to address is that OJ's wearing a wife beater. Yep, joke writes itself, I'll just let it sit there. Secondly, him and Leon argue about the girls' voices right in front of them, which is so awkward and demeaning to these women who think they are getting a big break. And apparently these women weren't too happy after the camera stopped rolling. The ad promised $750 for the day and they weren't too thrilled leaving with a t-shirt that just said I got juiced. Which I think might actually be one of the t-shirts in the Mia Khalifa clothing line. Alright, now to the final prank that they used as a selling point for this entire show. The used car salesman bit. OJ Simpson works at a used car dealership as himself where he tries to sell a white Bronco. Yep, a white Bronco. The same kind of car that he led police on nearly a decade earlier. A car that I personally made famous. As an added touch, the Bronco has a bullet hole in it which OJ autographed. And for the first time, one of the people being pranked, this older man here, addresses the elephant in the room. Just sit there. Okay, I'll sit in it. Just sit there. I mean, even there was a dead body in it. Yep. OJ also repeats this line throughout. And I can guarantee you, the car has escapability. And just like that, Juiced ends. Well, not before showing the full-length music video they created, which again, I can't show you. Was Juice something we needed? No, absolutely not. However, it's such an obscure and strange piece of media history that I just had to talk about it. I couldn't find the numbers for the pay-per-view sales at the time, however, they did release a special edition DVD, and Leon claims that fewer than 100 copies sold. I did also read that they're still for sale on their website, but at the time of this recording the website was under maintenance, so I can't confirm that. But it wouldn't surprise me since they probably have hundreds, maybe thousands of copies boxed up in an office somewhere. 
If you do have a copy of Juiced on DVD, I would recommend burning it. Who am I kidding? Anyone who bought that DVD back in 2006 most likely is in prison now. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, no one tell OJ where I live. Thanks.